Hello and welcome back to our new set of videos where now we're going to talk about a new feature of FileMaker 19 all around Core ML, which is about machine learning. So as you know, at Claris, we are striving to make powerful technologies available to everyone. And that's one of the things that we've been working really hard on this new version of FileMaker 19 is to bring you technologies which are really sort of uh, high-end and that, that you'll love actually using in your apps. And so one of the features that we've been working on is around the smart AI and smart apps. So we bring three new functions that you can actually use within iOS devices or Mac devices, which is NFC reading, series shortcuts, and then Core ML. And in this video, I'll go down into details around Core ML, which can be used on Mac OS and iOS devices. So what we've built basically is a new script step and a new function which is going to be help get you to use machine learning models within your solution. So the first one that we have is a script step called Configure Machine Learning Model, which is for FileMaker 19 only and is supported on macOS and iOS devices. And what it does basically is purely load a core ML, which is a machine learning model, and then lets you use it within the rest of your script. So you'll use these script steps to load the core model into your, into your system, and then you'll use the function compute model, which is going to provide you data when it has analyzed the, either the text or the image that you've put into a container field. And so this computer model basically is a function that returns a JSON object with all the information that the core ML model has been able to evaluate. You can use it on two types. You can use it on basic text, which we call general models. Or you can do vision where you basically will input a, give a, an image to your solution and the core ML will actually, uh, the model will go through that and try to give you information out of that. So before we, before we go any further is what is actually core ML. If you actually never heard of it, it was actually introduced by Apple a couple of years ago uh, when they launched iOS 11. And core ML is basically a framework where you're going to let a model uh, go through the information you give it, and it's going to basically give you answers out of that. So you can use it for um, what we call NLP, which is natural language processing. So if someone speaks, then you can actually have a model that can actually type the information back to you into text. You could use it for image analysis, or pretty much any other thing that's just come out on the market. And so the way it works is you have a model that you integrate in your apps, and then you're going to use it and coil up uh, through your scripts. Uh, so you have your apps, imagine basically uh, all the technologies that you're looking to actually get, which normally would mean that you need to get, use big machines, can actually be done on your iOS device or your macOS locally just by using a model. So if you need more information, I invite you to actually look at the Apple website in the developer section. There's the machine learning section where you'll be able to actually sort of understand a bit more about core ML, uh, have information on models, resources. Uh, the other thing that they have on top on the website is you can uh, read uh, models with Chrome or you can create uh, a model uh, if you want to actually use it uh, specifically. And so within Xcode, you you have the ability to create a model that you'll be able to use eventually in your pharmacy solution. So now I've created a, a small file where I'm going to basically quite easily uh, insert a model into a container field load that model into memory of my machine and then send into a container field a, an image. In this case, I'm using PNG images. And then I've got a calculation that is going to give me a result of what the model can actually uh, make out of the information that is within the, the model. And then I've got a result that's basically going to give me the best match that I can get. So the way it works is you set up a script, which is loading your model into memory. And so the options that you have is either you can do a vision one, a general, which basically is more like about text, and then you can unload the model for memory if you want to save some, some space. Uh, you give a name to your um, model that basically you want to use throughout your scripts, and then you basically tell it what it's loaded. It's coming from a can can connect container field. And what I've done on the side of that is within my uh, database, I've actually created uh, so I've got my container fields and I've got std on store calculation. The first one is basically going to give me back all the information that the model can actually uh, analyze uh, from the analysis it's done of the image. 
so in that case, basically, I'm using compute model where it's basically saying, okay, this is the um, the name of the, mod the model that I've got to use. It's going to go through an image. Uh, so that's the type of information I have. This is the container. And then just to actually show it's the PNG. And then I'm going to get a result in JSON of the information that I get back. Uh, and then I've got another one that is quickly basically going to give me the best the best result that it's getting from the information we uh, come back uh, that's coming back from the analysis. So in this case, I'm basically I've got this uh, M model LM model uh, from the Apple website. It's called MobileNet. Uh, it, it all basically has, it's quite a big one, so it has a lot quite a lot of information about all type of images. So I'm going to load that into my memory, and then it's going to ask me to uh, drop an image. And so the first one I'm going to use is uh, this one of an office picture that we have on my website. And as you can see, basically from the information that I can see, the best, uh, the confidence ratio is between 0 0.1 or 0 0.0 and 1. And so this is gonna basically be the, the best value. So it can, it can with confidence of 0.25, so 25% sure that what you can see is actually a desk. But as you can see from the rest of the information, there's quite a bit of stuff that it's actually seeing. Uh, if I use it with another type of, of image, I'll use it with a bike. So if I've dropped that, as you can see, it can see it's clearly pretty much a bike. It's pretty sure it's a bike out of the two other best results. It kind of think it's a mountain bike, but it's not 100% sure. And so the value is 48%. Um, if I use one where uh, hopefully the, the quality will be better, it's a teddy bear. Okay, it, it could see it's a teddy bear, but it doesn't exactly what it is, but it's pretty much sure. Uh, that will be the value. Um, and so it, it just, as you can see, it's quite quick because the model is in memory, so you can actually have that running offline. There's no need to be uh, looked uh, uh, dumped to the internet uh, to actually uh, do anything with it. And so if if you wanted to, you could actually build your own uh, model uh, and ev eventually uh, insert your images into your model. And then with that model, you can actually do... Um, analysis of images in your office. So you could actually do that on a factory line, you can do that for an event management, you can do pretty much uh, wherever you wanted to. So that's quite enough for you, it's quite easy, I hope you like it when you play with it. Thank you.